It's Umsum time. Huh? Why does a cat arch its back? A cat arches its back primarily as a defensive or communicative behavior. When threatened, the arch makes the cat appear larger and more intimidating to potential predators or rivals. This posture is often accompanied by puffed fur and hissing. Conversely, cats may arch their backs during a playful or affectionate moment, like when rubbing against a person or stretching after a nap. The stretch helps loosen their muscles and improve flexibility. Why does a camel have a hump? A camel's hump is like a built-in energy backpack. It stores fat, not water, which the camel can use as fuel when food is scarce. When the camel uses the stored fat, the hump shrinks and might even flop huh? to one side until it fills up again. Hmm. The hump also helps camels stay cool by keeping most of their body fat in one spot, allowing the rest of their body to stay cooler. Hmm. Why do cats lick us? Firstly, cats lick us in order to show their affection towards us. Hmm. Secondly, by licking us, cats transfer their saliva, which contains pheromones, essentially marking us as part of their territory. Thirdly, licking can also serve as a soothing ritual for cats, helping them calm down when they're anxious or stressed. Hmm. Lastly, cats sometimes lick us just to get our attention. Why does a caterpillar eat a lot? As larvae, caterpillars consume large amounts of leaves to store energy in the form of fat and nutrients. This intense eating supports their exponential growth, as some species can increase their body mass thousands of times in just a few weeks. Since the caterpillars don't eat during metamorphosis, their earlier binge eating ensures they have the reserves to complete their transformation into a butterfly. <laughs> How high do commercial planes fly? Commercial airplanes fly at altitudes ranging between 30,000 to 36,000 feet above the sea level. Firstly, flying at such an altitude places the airplane in the lower stratosphere of planet Earth. Lower stratosphere is located above the clouds. This helps in protecting the airplane against bad weather. Secondly, the air in the lower stratosphere is much thinner as compared to the air near the surface of the Earth. Thinner the air, lesser the resistance for the airplane. This results in higher fuel efficiency for the airplane. Hmm. Why do we snore? Snoring occurs when air struggles to move freely through our nose and throat during sleep, causing the surrounding tissues to vibrate. This happens for various reasons. Firstly, nasal congestion from allergies or colds can block the airway. Secondly, when we sleep on our back, our tongue may block the airway. Thirdly, excess weight can add pressure to our neck, thus narrowing the airway. Lastly, age also plays a role, as throat muscles weaken over time, thus making snoring likely. Hmm. Huh? Why does a ship float on water? A ship floats on water due to a principle known as buoyancy. Buoyancy is the upward force exerted by a fluid, in this case, water, that opposes the weight of an immersed object, in this case, the ship. Mm. Ships are designed to displace a volume of water equal to their weight. 
When the weight of the water displaced is equal to or greater than the weight of the ship, the ship floats. This principle allows even very large and heavy ships to stay afloat. Mm. What if we drink too much water? No big deal. Check this out. Oh, um, some. Firstly, if we drink too much water, there might be no more water left for our family. Mm. Secondly, if we drink too much water, we might start walking in a wobbly fashion. Mm. Lastly, if we drink too much water, some people might drink the entire swimming pool. Hmm. What if our fingernails were 100 feet long? No big deal. Mine are 200 feet long. Oh, um, some. Firstly, if our fingernails were 100 feet long, kids may start using our fingernails as slides. Secondly, if our fingernails were 100 feet long, delivery guys will be very happy about this. Hmm. Lastly, if our fingernails were 100 feet long, our roof may not last for long. Hmm. What if gold was free? Oh no! I just bought some gold! Oh, um, some. Firstly, if gold was free, Husbands may start gifting a lot of gold jewelry to their wife. Mm. Secondly, if gold was free, <laughs> some people may start wearing huh? clothes made of gold. Mm. Thirdly, if gold was free, one may even start seeing huh? gold bars lying near dustbins. Mm. Fourthly, if gold was free, wives may now start demanding huh? diamonds instead of gold jewelry. Hmm. Lastly, if gold was free, even aliens may come to planet Earth to get some free gold. Hmm. What if we converted into a toy? Awesome! I'm some loves toys. <laughs> oh, I'm some. Firstly, some toys work on remote control. If we convert it into a toy, even we may be controlled by a remote control. Hmm. Secondly, kids love toys. If we convert it into a toy, huh? they may never leave us alone. Hmm. Thirdly, some toys come attached with a lot of lights. If we convert it into a toy, huh? even we may be attached with a lot of lights. Hmm. Fourthly, some toys break easily. If we converted into a toy, even we may break easily. Hmm. Lastly, some toys are extremely expensive. If we convert it into a toy, thieves may grab us and take off. Hmm.